everyone welcome back to our channel so good to have you guys back here again thank you once again for your continuous massive and huge support to this channel god bless you my people we really appreciate you and we pray that even as you support this channel god almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do in jesus name amen thank you once again guys yes my people we're back again as always with latest and most authentic happenings in the country the one we've got right now guys is regarding the hashtag and SARS. We know a lot of um, persons have lended their voice, have joined in this um, peaceful protest against police brutality. Not just against police brutality, but also they've extended it um, to hashtag and bad governance. Right now, um, like I stated, um, a lot of um, well meaning Nigerians have lended their voice, politicians themselves, clergy, um, celebrities, name it. They've all uh, um, stood and supported um, the hashtag NSAS. The one person that um, has got a lot of backlash of recent is the person of um, Atiku Abubakar, former vice president of the country. Um, you know, during this, um, this whole peaceful protest, he made a comment, he made a statement that uh, I'm sure he, he should be regretting by now. He made a statement um, that uh, has uh, uh, caused a lot of negative reaction and Nigerians uh, gave him a lot of backlash. We'll find out um, those details shortly. We'll bring you all of the details in a moment. But before we do, guys, please, if you haven't given us a thumbs up, do go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe as well. Hit on the subscribe button. It really does mean a lot to us. Thank you once again and God bless you. Yes, my people will go straight into the news now and would we'll grab all of the details. Nigerian youth have finally proven how ready they are to bring on a change as they have begun an indefinite protest. Recall that the Nigerian youth began the protest about 10 days ago, protesting against the brutality and the killings of innocent citizens in the country. The youth do not even mind being killed as they block the roads, making roads their home. Many even lost their lives along the line. And just on Friday evening, a candle night was created for the ones that lost their lives during the protest. Many governments also show great concern and express their condolences. The Vice President of Nigeria, Yemi Osibanjo, also addressed Nigerians via his Twitter handle as regards the brutality and he also spoke on the President's behalf. More so, Babajide Samwonlu of Lagos State via his Twitter handle also assured Nigerians that the killers of the protesters all brought to justice. However, Atiku Abubakar also released a tweet via his Twitter handle that got a lot of reactions from Nigerians. His tweet reads, Last night's hashtag candlelight in remembrance and honor of all those killed by the unjust system was powerful and reinforced my belief that our youth mean well and deserve to be heard and engage for the good of our people and our nation. Hashtag end SARS. Hashtag end police brutality. Abu Bakr, who is a Nigerian politician and businessman that served as the vice president of Nigeria from 1999 to 2007 during the presidency of Olusegun Obasanjo, since the return of democracy, Abubakar has contested in all the elections. So guys, uh, as the hashtag um, NSAS is ongoing, we know sadly and a lot of persons have really uh, have lost their life, sacrificed their life um, for this good cause. Atiku Abubakar, all he did was that um, he tweeted regarding the hashtag um, candlelight in remembrance of those that lost their life along um, this uh, this this uh, um, good call but guys the reaction he got is quite um, something surprising i believe he will be regretting now why he even um, commented or why he stated anything well, let's uh, we'll go straight um, to the reactions from nigeria someone here says sir i don't think any of you understand that we no longer trust you politicians you are all the same pretend to show care and support but when you've been elected nothing i repeat nothing will be done as you promise to the people wow so you know in his in his comments during uh, when the tweet he made regarding the hashtag candlelight in remembrance of those that lost their life all he was just um, stating that um, he really knows fully well right now that um, the youths they are 
they are so united and he believes in everything that they are doing and this unjust system and all of that but nigerians don't believe anything they are saying this person is pointing out that um, you all politicians are the same pretend to care but as soon as they are elected they go for something else they they move ahead for something else let's move on with more comments someone here says that please don't come here to show sympathy if you really know that the youth mean well for the nation step down from running for 2023 presidential election and let the youth take over that is the only way we will believe you wow we know atiku abubakar is someone that is eyeing the 2023 um, seat and guess what from when um, he, he left as um, vice president of the country, he has contested in every election, but he hasn't won. And I believe that um, he wants to give this one a shot again to see if he can win the election right now. Um, Nigerians are saying to him that you are claiming that you mean well um, for the country. If you truly, truly mean well for this country, then step down step down don't contest if you know the youth mean well for this country by engaging in this protest you step down your 2023 presidential ambition and let the youth take over but guys that one is difficult i don't know if atiku would want to step down let's move on someone else says that we don't want anybody that is older than nigeria to rule us the youth to take over we know Nigeria just celebrated 60th independence. And if you look at all these our leaders, look at Buhari, look at their ages. This person is saying that we don't need anyone older than the country to um, rule the country. Someone else here says from 25 years to 40 years are the only people permitted to be in our system. Once you enter 51, no government work for you to avoid disgracing us and going for medical checkups every week. We need vibrant people on duty the youth uh, they are not taking they are not taking it lightly again you see, what's going on right now is that uh, the youth they are very interested in, in in government right now in politics and everything going on in the country someone else says that your generation have ruled us for too long this country cannot continue to be your research lab where you come and do try and error APC and PDP have been the only party in this country despite practicing a multi-party system leave the political scene for the younger generation well someone else says that with all due respect sir please day your day we know your motive from day one so <laughs> it's been a lot of uh, um, uh, attacking on his side and the major thing is that all he's saying they don't um, nigerian youth don't believe him because they believe that all politicians are the same you know, all these recycled politicians, we don't want them. Guys, let's hear your take on this. Thank you once again. Please, if you haven't given us a thumbs up, do go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe as well. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye for now and God bless.